Although it's something we take for granted, the ability to hear is one of the senses we rely on the most. But over 36 million American adults have some degree of hearing loss, a health concern that is often preventable. October is National Audiology Awareness Month, a month dedicated to increasing public awareness of audiology services. Audiology is a branch of medical science that studies hearing and balance-related disorders. It continues to be a popular career choice for many young adults today. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the national employment rate of audiologists will continue to grow through 2028, creating a 16% increase in job openings. We spoke with Paige Holt, a doctor of audiology at Lake Ear Nose, Throat and Facial Plastic Surgery to find out what drew her to this gratifying field. My sister and I are both doctors of audiology and we love what we do. And we feel like we do that because of the strong family connection that we have to hearing loss. Our grandmother was profoundly hearing impaired and has been that way for all of the life that we remember her. And so we both have a passion for people who are hearing impaired and helping them hear better. And she is a great inspiration to what we do. We see many patients upon referral of the physician, and we see many patients who just come in on their own. Probably a large percentage of our client base is from a referral of other patients that are happy with our services. So we get phone calls and people can come in for just a hearing evaluation. Once they come in for their hearing evaluation, if we determine that there is a medical condition involved, then we will recommend that they see the physician for further evaluation before we proceed with any recommendations on hearing aids. However, if we do not detect that there's any problems medically, then we will go ahead and proceed with hearing aids. We have physicians, we have physician's assistants, audiologists, and hearing aid specialists all on staff, and we all work together. And there are times when I may be puzzled on what would be the most appropriate hearing aid for this individual, and so I will walk down the hallway and I will ask my coworker, what products have you tried recently? Have you tried a product on a hearing loss that looks like this and how did it work? And so we work together and we get feedback on one another. It's very rewarding to have a phone call or have someone come in and say, I'm hearing things I never heard before. Having someone say, I wish I would have done this years ago. I can't believe how well I'm hearing. Or just simply putting a hearing aid in and seeing for the first time their significant other, their child, their spouse say, you're hearing me and um, you were not hearing me an hour ago. All 50 states have licensing requirements for audiologists, which vary by state. In most cases, a licensed audiologist needs a doctorate in audiology granted by an accredited program. For information on this story, or the hearing aid and audiology services available at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat, and Facial Plastic Surgery, please click the For the Love of Audiology story link icon at our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.